this topic of talent is at the very core of what we, why we exist as a Canadian Marketing Association. It's to really to elevate uh, the, the, the talent within the marketing community and to make it better and make it more influential uh, within the Canadian economy. So this is uh, really a core topic. And then the, the issue that we're bringing into the talent, which is absolutely critical to it, is, is diversity. And we firmly believe that we'll have the best talent by opening the doors to the, the, as many different types of people as possible. So that's kind of the heart and soul behind this new talent council. We think it's gonna make a long-term difference in, in the way that marketing functions in Canada with the right talent um, uh, encouraged along the way through their, their own journey. So it's great to have you both with us. Uh, let, let me just start uh, the, the comment. And, and by the way, Mehdi, it's great to have you in the great outdoors. I, I, I'm excited about Oh, what, what can happen with this, with this, uh, <laughs> this conversation? Uh, and Nardia, uh, you're looking great as always. Good to have you along with us as well. Thank uh, you. Great to I, I just wanted to get maybe a little bit um, uh, of, uh, it, you know, a, a response from both of you on why on earth you wanted to be involved in this initiative. Um, yeah. Um, go ahead, Nardia. Yeah. I was just uh, going to say, I mean, this opportunity for me, um, excites me for a number of reasons, but really the main reason that I wanted to co-chair this um, council really was to give back to the marketing community. I've spent my entire career in, in, in this industry and loved it. And really, I want to just kind of encourage talent, especially people from the BIPOC community, that you can have a really rewarding career in, in marketing. Great. Yeah. And for me, I mean, I've been working with the CMA for several years now, and uh, I'm, I feel like I fit and I fit, you know, your organization, all the, the caliber of talent that I've met so far. Um, and, you know, like Nardia, I think it's a great opportunity to make a difference, make an impact, um, get the best out of other folks, uh, and then really make an impact. So it's been uh, a really smooth and easy transition for me. I've noticed that the two of you already in our conversations with each other have this really interesting great chemistry um you want to say something nice about each other or not really i uh, do how, how long is this call i could do this for the entire call like she's you know nardia uh you know when we were looking for a partner um uh, and we only just met this summer um it was really about finding someone that is a, a true professional understands the industry yeah. you know she comes from great ped pedigree and so um yeah I, i'm really proud to work with someone like her yeah, and I, and I think for, for me, it's, uh, you know, according to Mehdi, we've met just this summer and a handful yeah. of times. So for me is we just complement each other. And sometimes we find that we're finishing each other's sentences, which yeah. to me, it says um, something about good team interaction. So it works. That's it works. great. So, you know, I, I'm going to switch to the, the topic at hand, which is really how do you get the best talent? Uh, within the marketing profession. Uh, if I was to ask you to summarize maybe the current state of affairs for the marketing pers perspective, um, what would be some of the points that you might make? Yeah, uh, Nardi, or did you want me to go? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Mady. Yeah, so I mean, um, the state of marketing, it's like any other function. And I think, you know, us coming from the talent function or from other functions, um, I think the first thing is that it's uh, like, you know, if you're in an organization, there are silos and it's about cooperation and collaboration and working with others. Um, but then as professionals, I think what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of change, you know, and we're all dealing with a lot of change. And our, the marketers that I work with, they're dealing with the change in technology, the industry, the way of doing business, the measure of good, what good looks like. So it's just a, an immense amount of change. Uh, and, uh, and people, you know, some people are, are adopting and, you know, some people are having a hard time coping with all the change. Yeah. And just, just to add to that, you know, if we, um, change requires action really quickly. And if we look at this year alone and, uh, how volatile and quickly things can change from COVID-19, uh, you know, having to adapt to working from home, flexible ways of working, and then new ways are even our clients are having to implement, uh, to connect to their customers, um, to Black Lives Matter, uh, really shining the spotlight on the marketing industry and the diversity issues that exist. So feels like to me, like 
um, there are two areas I mean to focus on. One is that marketing, uh, marketing leaders and managers I really need to take responsibility to build a diverse uh, team and just redefine diversity within their organization. Um, and then also representation um, in our industry and advertising in, in our marketing collateral and, and materials. They need to be more inclusive and diverse and representative as well. Right. That's great. Good answers. Um, so... <laughs> I know that you sat down and you said, you know, what's going to be our work plan and, and what are we going to accomplish? And but part of that is to say, we want to, can't boil the ocean. We got it like, we, we got, to, we can't bite off more than we can chew. So it's like, you need a plan and you need to get people before you get the people selected, you need to figure out what it is you want this uh, council to do. And, and it, we, we've kind of let you recommend that plan to us. And, I think it's a good one. Maybe we could share it on the screen and you could just walk through it for us. Yeah, so if you can uh, share the screen, um, we've we've taken this opportunity and, you know, we've met with several other uh, CMA members and, and uh, parts of the organization uh, and then done an inventory. We've also, you know, kind of heard from your leaders um, what some of the needs are. And so what we've actually found um, was that there is... Um, uh, you know, like you mentioned earlier, uh, a need and a demand uh, from the marketing community. Um, and what we kind of themed out were three areas of focus for the talent council. Um, so the first one you, you see is around addressing systemic discrimination. Um, and then from there, competency building for marketers. So with all this change, how do marketers continue to change and evolve? And what are the areas of focus and development? And then how do you attra attract and retain the best talent out there? Um, and so these are the three themes that we've seen um, that uh, people are salivating for. Uh, and then from there, what we've done is, um, you know, did a little bit of a needs analysis to find out um, where the areas of priority are. Um, and so what you see uh, here is, a, you know, almost a, a potential programming for the year of what this council will look to um, attack the subjects and themes to attack and really make pr uh, practical tools, um, yeah. you know, uh, learnings, um, resources, practices that organizations or people can take um, and even like, and really give some thought leadership around that. That's great. I, I love the practical aspect of it as well. It's something that, that, that will make a difference that you can, that people can take and, and, and use, right? So I, I think that's great. Nardi, any comments on this? No, just to add that, you know, um, I think these areas, when we put it together, kind of made sense to us. But uh, once we met with the council members, it was great to see the excitement coming from them and, and you know, that they all had interest in addressing each one of these. So really made us feel that, okay, you know what, we're working, you know, actually addressing some really good topics here. Great. Yeah. And what was, oh, sorry, I have to add, like, you know, yeah. what, what we also found was there was a lot of gaps in what we originally thought in the original research. Um, so, you know, our council members yeah. came out with some really great ideas uh, and topics uh, and then helped us prioritize those ones to make sure that it's absolutely relevant to the CMA constituents. That's great. And uh, I want to get into the, the who's on the council in a, in a few minutes. One of the questions it, that has come in was who is on that council? So we'll, we'll, we'll dive into it, to some of those uh, people. But the other thing I like about this uh, view is, is really kind of that horizon perspective. Like not every, some things take a while to get figured out. Other things you can do right away. And, and having that um, divided into those, uh, those day categories, I think is, We'll, we'll, we'll keep uh, everyone current and everyone focused on the right uh, activities as a council. Um, so yeah, well, well, I mean, what, we're, what we want to do is like, it's the practicality of it. We want to serve the community and we're kind of seeing three types of people that we want to serve. We want to serve the, multi, uh, the marketers, all of us, all the marketers themselves. Um, we want to you know, serve marketers that are in small, medium organizations, so those marketers that have to wear multiple hats, not just a marketer, but a P&L manager or a manager of, of operations. And then also, you know, for those marketers that are part of global organizations or larger organizations, you know, what are some of the skills and competencies or areas and pr practical things that they can do 
uh, to make impact uh, in their area. So um, it's about practicality. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge because, you know, each one of these topics are vast, you know, like, you know, there's, there's PhDs and theses and all that stuff, but um, how do we make this really practical for folks? Um, and so that, you know, going back to the point earlier about the state of marketing today, we want to affect change. We want people right. to internalize it, take something with from it and, and change. So, you know, I'm challenging everyone on this call to really, you know, uh, check out all, all the postings, give us feedback. Um, and really, you know, take it in and um, just absorb it. Yeah. There's also an aspect in this chart of of the fact that you, just like in any marketing program, you've got you know acquisition, development, retention aspects. There, there from a diversity perspective, there there are those elements within here. How do we attract people early in their career? How do we develop their careers? And how we have them stay interested over? Is, is that something that was intentional? Yeah, I think, you know, especially attracting people, I think, you know, we need to do a better job at really yeah. putting it out there that marketing is a really fruitful uh, career. So, you know, I think, you, you know, starting from schools and, and um, going to places where we traditionally never went to look for talent, we need to challenge ourselves and do those type of things more. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, and, and, and I do believe that you're, you know, the, the problem definition right now is we don't have enough people in the industry. So that's where the focus has to be. And, and as people move along and, and, and get involved, uh, hopefully that they, they, they won't, um, uh, they won't have barriers. We'll have to deal with some of them as, as they go, right? So I think that's, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to ask, you know, um, was it a hard time getting people to sign up for this talent council or did they kind of come flocking in, so to speak? Can't, this was a cool Canadian business problem, right? I mean, yes, there was some challenges with um, the type of, uh, with like the situation that spawned this, but um, you, we have some unbelievably talented, bright, gifted people with such relevant experiences. Um, and um, so, you know, I don't think it was about hard to attract people. It was more about hard to figure out which ones we're gonna, you know, work with and that are gonna add value. Um, we have such a, a cool, diverse group. Um, and not just like, you know, in the way that we look, but backgrounds, academic backgrounds, um, you know, organizational backgrounds, career backgrounds, experiences. Um, like it truly is a, a diverse crew. Um, what I love about it is like, you know, you have, um, you know, folks that are, you have folks that are, uh, you know, academics, we have professionals, we have, you know, media professionals, we have talent acquisition professionals, HR professionals, but then we have marketers that are client side, you know, uh, early in their career, middle in their career, you know, yes. CMOs. So it's just like, a, and then we have, you know, cl you know, client side and then agency side. Um, so like, totally diverse really really cool crew um and like just synergistic like our first meeting was you know awesome yeah yeah take me through that first uh, uh meet walk me through the first meeting um you know it, particularly from what you thought was going to happen and then what happened what was uh, what, what what was that like I think it was just like a natural progression of discussion and I think what I love most about this group is um, they have significant expertise in their sector, um, but they all came in with an openness to participate and to really um, contribute and learn uh, from each other. So I, I, the conversations just flowed. And I think with, you know, when we put up kind of the pillars um, and, and we did like a whiteboarding exercise, it naturally kind of progressed in a really, really good way. In fact, we ran out of time in that first meeting. Uh, you know, I had to get to talk to some of the points we covered, but it just felt like this group was there and just there to participate and and really contribute. Yeah, it was like it was like a dinner party, online dinner yeah. party, and we all just chatted and it was like fr old friends meeting, even though none of us have really worked together. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like you know, everyone just wanted to add, and it was there, like you know constructive it wasn't you know um aggressive in any way everyone was just so solid yeah very canadian very canadian call yes yeah, it, i was going to ask the uh, uh we're, we're very polite and kind in general and we attract 
uh, people to, to our country who are very polite and kind. And, and I think it's one of our, um, one of our best qualities because it, it, it allows us to be, to listen, right. And, yeah. and, and listen to each other's perspective. But I, I am interested. I'm looking for some tension here. You guys are yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't all that, you know, that way. And even like there, this is, this is, you know, the topic, especially of diversity, inclusion and belonging, this is a raw topic and, mm -hmm. you know, people get very emotional, um, you know, again, but what I appreciated about the crew was they were unbelievably, uh, they were very emotional and they were, but they were very constructive uh, and they were advocating. There were some folks, you know, that represented, you know, some communities that represented, uh, you know, new Canadians. Um, mm -hmm. And so they were qu quite vocal, right? You know, so it's, it's okay oh. to be polite. But it was, but you know, they were vocal, and um, yeah. and I think that's what the, I respected the most about the the type of conversation. Um, and tension, I think, will naturally happen mm -hmm. because, again, you know, we're this is a raw topic. We've yeah. all had different experiences, and um, uh, and we're we we all are human, and so it's all about like you know how do we understand each other, how do we work with each other, how do we politely uh, and respectfully, as colleagues, challenge each other. Um, and, you know, and, and uh, you know, this idea of excellence, like to really strive towards excellence by being better tomorrow than we were today. Uh, you know, that's what I expect from everybody. And so far, everyone's been delivering on that. Well, that's great to hear. Thoughts, Nardi, on that? Yeah, well, the other thing I would add is that it's kind of the way um, we, we've set up the group to attack each topic. So, you know, the subgroups. Um, we're, our idea to rotate people uh, from one topic to another every quarter, I think, okay. really kind of gives them that edge of contributing to every, um, you know, issue we've tabled. Instead of kind of only addressing one area, they've got the opportunity to really kind of, you know, jump from one area once they come out with something concrete into another area. And I think that excited a lot of the members. It excites me because I think each person can bring and contribute so much to each topic. Um, I think we'll see a great outcome. That's yeah. great. And I, and I also think that they'll they'll take take something away. Everyone will not yeah. only like add, but they'll take. So it'll yeah. be a positive experience for for folks as well. Yeah, and you know, one of the things that is 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 how do you communicate that great discussion uh, out to the world uh, in in a, in a way that helps us all. I mean. I, I have been impressed, not with myself, but I am trying to learn. But I've been impressed with this this vulnerability that uh, that senior leaders across the country are having on this topic. Mm -hmm. To say, you know, there's things that we we don't the the lived experience that I have is not the same as the lived experience that you have. So we are blind in areas, in areas of language, in areas of inclusion, and and so we all have a lot to learn on this topic. And I think having the a, a conversation circle so to speak um is a good step in 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 the way for us to try out some of our learnings and and not be so perfect in our orientation all the time as we learn and we can part of the learning is breaking down things that you need to do differently so i'm, I'm really excited about um uh you know the the outcomes in particular uh, i i did want to leave on a bit of a stumper um you just to to close off the discussion and you know if, if you're worried about anything about where we're heading like what are some of those worries what are, what are some of the challenges you say i'm not sure we've got this figured out yeah we have to figure it out but it's, it might it might you might take some thinking um are there are there any areas of this uh job or required this, this area that we're trying to tackle that you you think might be challenging you know this one um it it requires everyone to change and want to change right and what i'm what i'm concerned about is that you know these these 13 to 16 people work together beautiful you know create beautiful pieces of of thought leadership of tools of practices they do this research we put it out there and people you know may read it and consume it but they don't actually change and that's what i'm i'm, I'm nervous and anxious about you know and and not only that they don't internalize it and change but then that in the moment of heat, in the moment where there is adversity, you know, there's a Martin Luther King quote, like, you know, the ultimate measure of a person is not what they do in times of comfort and convenience, but in times of challenge and, change, yes. uh, challenge and controversy. Yes. So at that moment in time, I want the work that we're doing 
to really come out. I want, you know, you, John, to that piece that you read from us to like take that out and be like, okay, you know, yes, I'm emotional. I, I have a personal stance on this, but it's not about that. I've learned now that I got to do something different. It's the, that's what I'm, I'm, I, you know, I challenge everybody with. Uh, and I think that's the biggest challenge about this is internalizing it and truly changing, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's keep the conversation going. Right. And I think that's really the challenge is, is it can't be short term, you know, it can't be in a moment. It has to continue. Uh, and we really, it, I think, you know, uh, if we keep, um, you know, t- the topic as, as top of mind, it will change uh, with time. So now's the time, now's the moment. So. That's great. Use it, you, you leverage the current events to actually make long-term systemic exactly. changes and not only the way yeah. we think, but the way our institutions and structures work. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, that's great. No, I, I am so excited about the work that you'll do and I'm so pleased that you're, you know, you're, you're not paid for this. You're a volunteer, you got busy lives. Mandy can't even, yeah, he's still, he's, he's working out of his car today. Uh, you know, there's lots of stuff going on. And, and so yeah. just thank you from the bottom of my heart for your willingness to lead on, on a, such an important societal issue and, 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 and professional issue uh, for the profession of marketing. I really enjoyed our talk today. Um, so thanks again. And uh, Emma, we'll turn it back to you.